Hey, what's up? I'm Dr. Amita Fisher, pelvic floor physical therapist, and we're going to get into some morning mobility. Before you watch the video, please like and subscribe to the show, and please share with anybody at the end that you think would benefit. We're going to go through some mobility for the pelvic floor. So whether we're dealing with bladder leakage or things in the backside like fecal smearing or tailbone pain, we've got to lengthen out the pelvic floor so all the muscles down there end up working together. A lot of times the pelvic floor muscles in the backside around the anal opening are a little bit more tight. So we gotta stretch them out, but also stretch out the pelvic floor as one whole bowl because they're a bowl of muscles that help control what's happening down there, like supporting our goodies, like our organs, or keeping our goodies in like urine or fecal matter that we don't want to come out. So let's get started. We're gonna start on hands and knees here. Our hands right below the shoulders, knees right below the hips. We're gonna work on going back, rocking back, rocking forward. As you go back, I want you to breathe in, blow out, breathe in, blow out. As we breathe in, as we're rocking back, our sits bones, you can feel those bony landmarks are separating, they're spreading apart. So we wanna breathe in to help it lengthen out even more. Go ahead and have a seat on those feet. Mine are slightly apart. I'm gonna let my knees out a little bit further. Get into a nice child's pose stretch. Stretching with my hands out, feeling a nice stretch in those shoulders. I'm gonna walk my hands over to the right. Oh, hello, belly. Get my little hands more motion off to the side with hands to the right. Breathe in at the tight shoulders, tight ribs. And out, off to the other side. Breathe into that tightness and out. We're gonna do this twice here. Breathe in again. And out. Now rib mobility plays a huge portion into what's happening too. So we're gonna to take that right hand loop under that left side reach off feel some tightness in those ribs or that left shoulder and then blow out reach up towards the ceiling take that hand back under that shoulder blade or under that chest under that shoulder breathe in blow out reach up to the ceiling switch that out we're going left hand under right shoulder reach under Breathe in, you may feel different side to side here. Blow out, reach up, breathe in. Blow out, reach up. Go back into on all fours and notice my knees are apart, feet are together. Now I'm gonna bring feet out, knees in a little bit more. Sit back on those heels. See if that feels any different in the hips, in the pelvis as we breathe into that child's pose position. And then from here, I want you to let your feet go out a little bit wider than your knees. This is frog position. So you can let those slide out a little bit. Rest on your forearms. I do not want you in a position where your body's like, oh my God, this is so tight. Just a little bit of tension here in the inner groin, inner thighs. Breathe into that tightness blow out this should feel like a one out of ten on tension if 10 is like take me to the hospital this is so uncomfortable very minimal here like you're barely feeling a stretch breathing in blowing out any extra tension down there if the body freaks out if it's too tight or too uncomfortable pelvic floor is going to recoil and tense up all over that's why i'm saying very minimal one out of ten here Awesome, good and come out of that. We're gonna move into hip 90-90. One of my favorites, one in front and one behind. Hip rotation plays a huge role of what's happening in the pelvic floor. So sitting in this position, just really appreciate what you feel sitting here. Are you more tight back in the hip? Do you feel it up in the top of the pelvis? Do you feel it in your inner groin? Do you feel it on the opposite side, the leg in the front? Tells you a lot about where we've got tension and where we should improve it. Go ahead and lean forward here towards that knee. Gently pay attention. And I'm hinging here. I'm not rounding my back. So I'm going straight forward here, keeping chest straight. Same thing here, straight back versus rounding. Keep it up nice and straight. Hinge at the pelvis, get more into those glutes and pelvic floor as you lean here. Go ahead and switch it up. Opposite leg in front opposite leg behind. 
This may feel completely different. It does for me when I switch sides. All right, I don't feel it where I was once feeling it. Feeling a little bit different position on each leg. Appreciate it, breathe. Lean forward, hinge forward. Breathe here. And then off to the side. Again, same thing, hinging. Breathing in, breathing out. Coming back forward just a little bit. And then I want you to really sit back on that butt with knees bent. We're going rotation of the hips. So let them drop over till you feel just a little bit of a stretch. Off to the same opposite side, my bad. A little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a stretch. Touch on that tightness like, hey, back off the other way. Touch on it, hey, back off. Let them rock side to side. Create mobility in those hip joints. Lumbar spine, getting a little bit of rotation here. You should start to feel it kind of let go. Remember, we're touching on the tightness. I'm not pushing through it. Touch and release the other way. Touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. All right, let's go ahead and go back originally to the first leg that was in front, that leg. See how that feels? Notice where you have tension. Hopefully that's changed up a little bit, loosened a little bit. Switch sides. How does that feel? Hopefully that's a little bit different too as you lay here or sit here. We're gonna go back on our back. Speaking of laying down, we're gonna wrap right foot on that left knee. You're gonna bring that left knee to your chest. Hands are gonna go behind the left knee with your hands, or if you want, you can do a blanket or a towel behind the leg and then you can hold it. You're gonna remove your leg in circles. So right now I'm going counterclockwise. So left to right here. I'm gonna do this 10 times. Get this tissue to let go. Four, five, six, seven. You're gonna feel this in the opposite leg. So my hands are behind the knee, left knee. I'm feeling this in my right side. And now I'm gonna flip it and reverse it. I'm gonna go clockwise, same leg here. Just opposite direction. A little differently on what you're feeling in those muscles, in that tissue tightness. And switch it up. Left foot on right knee. Grab behind that right knee. Again, if you have a blanket or a towel, you can do that. And it doesn't matter which way you start. I'm starting clockwise on this leg. I'm feeling more tightness in my left hip. As I do this. Feels so good though. Back side of the thigh. Deep into that pelvis, into the glutes. Gotta create space for those nerves. The nerves are going through the pelvis, down to your feet. Okay, flip it and reverse it, opposite direction. Create space for that tissue. Help those nerves talk so we can decrease any bladder urgency, frequency, help that pelvic floor out with any kind of symptoms or issues that might be going on. Good. We're gonna go back. Right foot on left knee. Grab behind that left knee. You're gonna bring that foot up, flex that foot. So toes back towards the head, point, back down. Up, flex, point, down. Now I'm gonna extend a little bit higher. It's gonna be outside of visual. Flex towards my face, point away, up, flex, point, down, up, flex, point, down again with this one. I feel tension, that's it. I'm not pushing through the tightness. As soon as I feel a stretch, that's as far as I'm going. Switch it up. Left foot on right knee. Same thing here, I'm going up, flex the foot back, point, back down. Up, flex, point, back down. Up, flex, point, back down. Up, flex, point, back down. Up. Flex, point, back down. One more, up, flex, point, back down. Go ahead and grab behind both knees. This is a modified happy baby. You're gonna pull up into that full flexion. The full flex position is what ends up relaxing out that pelvic floor. And then you can play into how far you want those knees to come out into getting that stretch on those inner thighs. Inner thigh tightness can also play into any pelvic floor tissue to, um, that's going on, especially tissue tightness. So get in this position, breathe in, 
to the hips, into the pelvic floor, vaginal opening, rectal opening, whatever you want to focus on, sits bones, and back out. Let's go one more air. Breathe in and out. We're going to finish it up in hip 90-90 again. One leg in front, one leg behind. How does it feel? Hopefully a little bit better. Switch it up to the other side. One leg in front, one leg behind. I don't even feel my tissue tightness on this side. Hopefully you feel the same on one of your up sides. Make sure you try to get into this position at least one more time today, whether you're scrolling on your phone or helping your kids read or folding laundry, whatever you're doing on your computer. And then if you want a little bit more mobility, which is great for the spine, get on your belly while you're typing or scrolling as well. We don't spend enough time here stretching it out. So just a little bit, or if you're watching, I don't know, a little bit of a show on Netflix, Netflix and chill, chill in this position, open up that spine to let it talk to your pelvic floor. Have a great day guys. Thank you so much for joining on the video. If you've made it this far, if you want more information on how to improve your bladder leakage, please click the link below. Launching my course, Leakage Lockdown, coming out very soon. So make sure you hit the link below to sign up for notifications for that course for busy, active moms who are already going to the gym, peeing their pants, they're playing with their kids, peeing their pants, they're out for a run, leaking, laughing, sneezing, coughing all of the above, and they just want to keep their pants dry. So make sure you check that out below. Sign up, like, and subscribe to the show. I appreciate it. Have a great day.